Okay, a couple of things on operating the FT891, the Azu FT891 on CW. If you are a sideband user or maybe an FT8 person who is using this radio, some of these features might not be of interest to you. So when you are moving to CW, you'll want to start to learn what, what some of these things are. And the first thing is, of course, you should probably know how to change into CW mode, which is pressing and holding the band button, and you can scroll around and um, get to CW, and it shows that we are in CW mode. The other thing is, I ended up putting a couple of things on my quick menu in the front here. Like, for example, when I'm operating in the car, I need my noise blanker on. I have it on six. If I don't have my noise blanker on, my noise level is S20. So, for example, if I turn that off, um, well, it's actually not, not horrible. And noise blanker six. That brings it down a couple of dB. Not much, but sometimes, I don't know, maybe if there's an accessory on and um, it's making some, some noise. I think my brake lights also make some noise. So having the noise blanker on and being able to turn it on, turn it off when I want to really quickly is um, right here on the B button. I've got that assigned. The first one is the tuner button. So I have my ATAS um, 120A installed. And when I change frequencies, I like to just be able to go boom and the ATAS does its thing really quickly. I'm good, I'm beautiful. I don't have to worry about going into menus to, to figure out what to do when I change bands in order to um, hit the tuner button. The other thing is I put the filter select in here also. So this is the narrow CW filter. You'll be able to see it says narrow up there. I want to be able to do that so I can go back and forth between CW and sideband pretty easily and either put in the CW filter or take it out. So those are my, my three speed keys and what you can do is assign them pretty easily. If you go to the function menu, any one of these, depending on what you are on, like for example, I want to put the, you know, just for the heck of it, I don't know why I would want to put the, the MOX function right here, but you press and hold that, and now I have the MOX function that appears right here, so I can easily press it and transmit if I want to, which, you know, I'd rather have my noise blanker, which is, let's see here, actually, you know what, I don't know if I really want my noise blanker, I might want my speed right there. So I'll be able to like change my speed pretty quickly by having my speed assigned to my B button here. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. So that's kind of cool. But if you go to the function menu, you'll be able to see a couple of things that you want to be familiar with, specifically on the CW settings. So if you hit function, it cycles you through function menu 1 to CW settings and ATAS settings. So you can pick any one of these and assign them to these speed keys. Um, under function one, what you want to make sure is monitor is on. MON is on. Because if it's not, you're not going to be able to hear your CW. And it's so frustrating. Like, how could you even do CW if you can't hear your own CW? So you want to have monitor on. Of course, I have my noise blanker on because I'm in the, the vehicle. Uh, let's go to menu two. Um, nothing special here from a CW standpoint. Uh, CW settings. So we talked about pitch for other radios. Look at a couple of my other videos. We talked about CW pitch on the Flex as well as the FT101 MP. Um, the you want the the keyer button or you want keyer on so if I hit that I can turn the keyer on and off so if you're doing straight key for some reason with the 891 you want the keyer off I of course want the keyer on and then you want break in because if you don't have break in enabled I'm just playing CW and it's not transmitting you want to make sure that you have break in 
on so that, see the red light coming on when I transmit? You want break-in on. Let's see what else we have. ATAS settings, not worried about that. I have an ATAS antenna. All is good. It's all automatic. So that's what that's all about. If you press and hold the function key, you actually get into the menu system. I'll try to do this without blocking. But there are some things in here that that you can change. Uh, let's see here, like the, the break-in delay. I've got 500 milliseconds. Uh, break-in type is semi, which um, I prefer. So it'll keep the radio keyed. So semi break-in is it'll keep the radio keyed between dits and dots. If you have this full break-in, it will let you listen to what's going on in the frequency between your dits and dots to an extent. I, I, I don't like that chaos. I, I keep it on semi. Um, we'll talk about this in more detail, especially if I can get on the flex radio to kind of show you what the CW BFO means. Um, you can change it from uh, lower sideband, upper sideband, or auto. It actually should be auto on my radio. Doesn't uh, doesn't matter a ton, but we'll talk about that in a different video. And when I do get that video online, I will put a link to it in the description. Um, let's see here. Some of the other stuff, I just keep all of this the same. And uh, yeah, so the CW stuff is in menu 7. 7 Um All of this stuff should be good and not needing to be adjusted. So that's that's what's going on inside of the actual um, menu. The uh, the last thing is, and we'll we'll do something. And here's where you change the CW weight, which that just totally annoys me. Um, I'll do another video on what um, iambic keying A and B is, and then I will also do another video specifically for this radio on how to use the CW memories, why you would like to use the CW memories, and how you can use CW memories to reduce fatigue in CW sending. Of course, it's not gonna help you with receiving, but if you're calling CQ and you're doing some parks on the air stuff, it would behoove you to check out and use some of these CW memories that are in this radio. So that's the 891, that's a real brief overview of some of the settings that I have and that I like. Um, actually, we saw in real time that I wound up um, adding this speed button to my, my quick buttons here. So, any questions on the 891? Uh, I'll try to do some more videos for everybody.